hey everyone and welcome back so in the last two videos you saw that the body tag and these three events are not being blocked by the WAF. so we need to use the body tag with either of these events and somehow alert a pop-up box correct now in this video we'll do that okay awesome now let me just go back to the lab and use the body tag with the first event that is on before input right so let me just copy this so body right body with that event is equals to prompt one two three four right one two three four close it and close the tag enter and you can see that it is not being blocked by the WAF that is because both the body tag and the on before input event are not being blocked by the WAF correct and if you see the source code of the page you can clearly see that that is being injected in the HTML document right now before actually doing anything I just want to tell you you know one important point here and that is you cannot have more than one body tag in a HTML document. Now, this is an entire HTML document, but you cannot have more than one HTML, well, sorry, more, more than one body tag in one HTML uh, file. That is one HTML document. But here we are clearly, use, okay, before that, uh, if you want me to prove that, you can simply go to Google and type how many, sorry, not show, how many, yeah, how many body tags are allowed in a HTML document? You can clearly see that there can be only one body element in a HTML document. But here, we unfortunately, we have no other option but to use the body tag. That is because only that is not being filtered or not blocked by the WAF. So we have to use that, unfortunately. But you may ask, okay, say that I have used the body tag. I mean, I have uh, used one more body tag. But what is the consequence of it? right now i'll tell you what is the consequence so this file you got it from the browser correct now what happens is that when the browser validates this html document it sees that oh there are two body tags which is not correct so i'll do something it will completely erase this body tag it will completely remove this body tag but it will actually copy this event to the main body tag right here so it will actually copy this event right here and it will put that in the main body tag don't believe me okay let me show that to you so if you go to the inspect element that is you know after the validation of this html document if you go to the inspect element you can see that our event has been attached for this body tag and if you want to see the other body tag if it is present on the document or not you can simply search here so body right and you can see that there is only one search result that means the other body tag is completely removed so let me tell that to you again so as you're using two body tags what the browser will do is when it is evaluating it it will actually completely remove this but it will actually preserve this particular you know event and it will actually put this here to the main body tag got it awesome now we have only one body tag which is attached with on before input event so now what is on before input let me tell that to you now inside this body tag if there are any input fields right if there are in any input fields for example here we have the search box which is an input field so let me actually show that to you so it should be somewhere here it should be somewhere here i guess so let me just open this open this okay let me actually inspect this itself so if you see inside the body tag inside this body tag we have an input field right now before typing any input at all to that input field this particular on before input will be executed got it okay let me just tell that to you again so on before input what it does is before actually typing any input inside this input field this particular thing this particular function will be executed okay let us actually try that so whenever i type for example code word so i'm typing c you can see that that particular prompt has been executed so that is what on before input does but we can't use this particular you know uh, we can't use this particular payload the reason is that if you go back to the lab description you can clearly see that your solution must not require any user interaction we must and must somehow execute this automatically so we can't use this particular uh, payload right okay so now we can dismiss this particular event awesome and the second one is on rate change now let us actually see what is on rate change so let me actually paste that in the google and see what is on rate change Okay, let me just open this and you can see that it will execute a JavaScript when the playing speed of the video is changed. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. And let us see the definition as well. So the on rate change event occurs when the playing speed of audio or video is changed. Like when a user switches to slow motion or fast forward mode 
the event is invoked by the playback rate property of the audio video object blah 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 now from whatever i read here right from the definition and the usage it looks like this particular event is only applicable to either audio and video tags but not the body tag but if you want me to try yeah i'll try so let me actually open chrome because i don't think uh, the playback speed is supported on uh, firefox so let me actually open chrome right and let me actually search for audio tag okay enter and let me just open this and try this and you can see that i have this playback speed button right now what i want to do is whenever i change the playback speed so i'm giving this event to the body now but before that let me actually give that to audio so that let's see if that works or not so let me actually use this event that is on rate change copy this and paste this here for the audio tag and here i'll equate it to prompt one so whenever i change the playback speed I want to prompt one so let me just run this and if i change the playback speed to 1.5 you can see that the alert box is popping up that means it's actually working for the audio tag but let us actually see if that works for the body tag right so if i actually uh cut this here right cut this here and go to body tag paste this here and run it if i change the playback speed if i change the playback speed to two you can see that it is clearly not working and as i told you this on rate change prompt sorry if this on rate change event works only for video and audio tags but not the body tag so we can discard this as well and finally we are left with on resize now let us actually see what is on resize so copy this and paste it enter and you can see that on resize will execute a javascript when the browser window is resized okay so i can actually use this with body tag as you can see from the examples so let me actually do something i'll go back to the lab and i'll remove this payload which is already there so i'll actually remove this right enter and i'll write a new payload with that event so body on resize is equals to alert one two three and close the tag enter and nothing happens because we didn't yet resize the window but if i resize the window you can see that the alert box has popped up now the question is you can see that you know uh, everywhere i mean for all these three events right that we have worked on in all these three events we wanted some kind of user interaction i mean this one we can completely discard because this is only for audio or video but these two at least wanted the user interaction to happen but how can we actually do something automatically i mean whenever we send a link to a user how can we automatically alert a pop-up box you know that is pretty tricky and that we'll see in the next video so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i promise next video will be the last for this lab thank you